guys and welcome back to my channel. So guys, happy new year. And I'm so excited because for the longest time I've been able to film a video and in lieu of my 2016 favorites, I'll be doing the ride or die tag. So if you're not familiar with that tag, basically it means ko ano yung favorite makeup item mo per category of all time. As in kung merong isang matitirang makeup item na lang na meron ka na pwede mong gamitin sa buong buhay mo in your entire collection, what would it be? So what I like about these kinds of videos is that lalo na nung nagsisimula pa lang ako mahilig sa makeup, yung mga ganitong videos yung na... Yung mga ganitong videos yung nakatulong sa akin para malaman kung saan muna mag invest when it comes to makeup. Kasi for sure, if it's the ultimate favorite, it must be good, di ba? As compared to yung other items in their collection sa mga videos na napanood ko. So, kung ikaw ay baguhan lang sa makeup, bago ka lang nahihilig sa makeup, like me na para one year pa lang ako nahihilig sa makeup, then this video is for you. So, kung may invest ng kind of products, Ito yung for me, mga the best sa mga na-try ko so far. Okay, so without further ado, let's start kasi medyo madami siya per category. I mean, madaming category. So let's breathe through them because magiging mahabang video na naman. Alright, so first, let's go in order of application sa face natin. First is primer. Ngayon, you have to know na yung skin type ko, minsan oily, minsan dry, depende sa panahon siya sa situation. So, I chose the primer na any condition of my skin works for me. So, with that, my ride or die primer, my all-time favorite, is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I like this kasi kahit dry or oily skin ko, it blurs the imperfections. It does not cling to the dry patches. Hindi siya yung na-emphasize niya yung dryness kapag dry yung skin mo. And yung foundation, talagang nag-spread siya so smoothly on top of this. Talagang nabablur yung even the fine lines. Hindi siya totally zero as in nag-disappear. Hindi naman siya magic. But, ang laki ng percentage na nabablur dun sa pores mo. So, what I like to do with this is concentrate it in the center of my face kung saan malaming pores. And I really like this. And bonus na lang na affordable siya. Okay. Next is foundation. Ito yung walang duda sa isip ko na ito yung all-time favorite ko. This is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. This is the foundation that I used during my wedding. And subo ko na siya na kahit anong cl klase na lighting, mapa natural light, yung artificial light, daylight, gabi, umaga, walang flashback, maganda pa rin siya. And it's even beautiful in HD photography. Kaya ako siya nagustuhan. And, it's full coverage, but at the same time, it's not heavy looking and cakey looking. It still looks like your skin. So, I don't know how they did that, but super the best foundation I've ever tried in my life. Wala na ako may hiling pa sa foundation na to. It's the foundation I'm wearing today. As you can see, it's full coverage, but it still looks like skin. So, the only downside with this is that mas konti yung amount niya sa isang foundation as compared sa others. And, medyo mahal siya. Pero, worth the money naman. Alright. So, next is concealer. So, sa dami ng magagana concealers out in the market today, I chose the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer because siya yung klase ng concealer that hindi siya mukhang cakey under the eyes. Alam mo yung, kasi yung iba, dahil super matte finish niya, hindi naman kasi nga naturally matte yung skin ng tao. And it looks so cakey under the eyes. Lalo na, isaset mo pa siya ng powder. This one does not do that. This still looks like skin. Ito yung concealer that I use today. Actually, most of the products, I tried to use all of them in this vid for this video in particular. Para makita nyo sa video how it looks. Even on camera lang. So, this is what I like about this concealer. It's easy to blend. It blends in seamlessly with any foundation that I've used it with. So, I have no reklama about it. Siguro, yung price lang niya, syempre, of course, Too Faced is not, hindi naman high-end, pero saktong high-end na brand din. Hindi, syempre, not as cheap as drugstore brands, but I think it's so worth the money kasi it's so hydrating and it feels so good on the skin. Feeling ko nga ngayon sa ginamit kong foundation and concealer, wala kong nafe-feel na heaviness. Yung alam feeling na gusto mo na maghilamos. Walang ganong feeling with the combination of these two. 
All right. So after you put on concealer, of course, we have to set the concealer. And my favorite powder, without a doubt, to set my under eye concealer is the RCMA No Color Powder. So ito yung tipo ng powder na super finely milled to the point hindi talaga kang nagmumukhang cakey yung lalagyan mo ng powder na to. So, for example, sa under eyes, di ba? Kung makikita mo, it does not look cakey. It still looks so much like skin. Even though, sinet mo siya ng powder. What it does simply is, syempre, mas intact, mas hindi gagalaw yung mga cream products that you put underneath. Pero beyond that, hindi siya nagkikis, hindi siya cakey nga, paulit-ulit ako, di ba? Pero, this is truly the best. And kung makikita mo, nung puno siya, sobrang dami niyang product. So, para sa isang affordable na product, ang dami niya pang laman. So, ang tagal ko na siya nagamit. I use this almost a year ko nang ginagamit siya. And I can't find myself to use any other powder kaysa dito. Kasi, hindi ko alam. Pag the best na kasi, alam mo yun, parang hirap ng pilitin na gumamit pa ng ibang product. Kasi, you already have the best. So, alam mo yun, why settle for less, di ba? Pero, of course, ay, ano ba yung natakot? Of course, when it comes to setting the entire face, I have another powder. Kasi, the thing with translucent powders, they all say na parang wala siyang kulay. Pero, in reality, kahit pa paano, nalilighten niya kasi yung foundation mo or concealer mo. In reality, just a tinge lighter. So, what if yung foundation mo is the same color of your skin? Pag nilighten mo siya ng slight, mas whiter na siya than your neck. So, what I use to set my entire face is the, Bour the Bourjois Healthy Balance Matte 10 Hours Matte Finish Natural and Healthy Glow Powder. <sighs> so, what it is, it's simply a face powder, but the consistency of it is like the RCMA No Color Powder. It's so fine that it does not look cakey at all. And believe me, I've tried so many face powders before, and it does not give me the same results as this one. It's so fine. It does not cake in any kind of situation. Mapainit, mapalamig, mapadry or oily yung skin ko. Or any foundation yung nasa ilalim, hindi siya nagkikik. And sometimes, kapag may mga days na, alam mo yun, wala ka naman talagang pupuntahan, mag-grocery ka lang or what not, gagawa ng errands sa labas, what I do is just put on concealer and this powder. And I think, mukhang healthy na skin mo, presentable na given out na skin tone mo. The coverage is not full, pero that's what I like about it. Kasi I, I want my skin to still look like skin, kahit na meron akong powder over it. So, lalo na pag sinet mo to ng setting spray, it still looks like skin. And I love this. I love the smell. It smells like a mixture of fruits and flowers. Sa iba siguro offensive yung smell, but for me, hindi naman ako sensitive sa smell na yon And I believe na healthy yung ingredients na mga foundations ng Bourjois. And that's what I like about it. And it's so affordable. You don't need to spend much. Kasi hindi ako niniwala na you have to have every ha lahat ng category dapat high-end yung brand mo for, for it to be considered as good. Kasi hindi naman totoo yan dahil there are a lot of drugstore brands that offer very, very good products. And isa na yung bourgeois sa mga yun. Alright, so after we powder our skin, let's move on to brows, of course. Kasi isa ito sa pinakamahalagang aspect ng mukha natin. Kumbaga, sa, picture, sa isang picture, ito yung picture frame ng mukha natin. So, it's very important. And, kung meron akong hardcore commitment sa lahat ng makeup products in my collection, this is it. This is eyebrows. Kasi, I've been using it again since my college days. And this is the Etude House Drawing Eyebrow Retractable Eye Pencil. So, what it is, retractable na siya. More like yung bago ng Anastasia. Brow definer yon That's it. And, it has a spoolie in the bottom. And what I like about it is, nasa gitna siya, alam mo yung may brow products kasi, no, super creamy, na pag isang guhit mo lang, super kapal na, you can't, it's hard to control the amount of product na nilalagay mo sa brows mo. And it can go ham so quickly. Alam mo yun. Ang dali niyang sumobra. Pero meron din mga products, like yung, yung eyebrow pencil na Maybelline na, Ang hirap niyang ikulay, iguhit. It's too waxy na ang hirap niya iguhit sa eyebrows mo. So, there's that. Ito, nasa gitnang gitna lang siya. Okay? Not too creamy, not too dry, not too waxy. Na ang daling maglagay. Ang daling mo siyang tansyahin. Yun. Ang daling mo siyang tansyahin. So, hindi ka as parang 
madaling magkakamali as compared sa other two kinds of brow products. And it's so affordable. I believe 100 plus lang siya and yung refill niya is even more affordable. And that's what I like about it. Kasi yung brow product, to be honest, di ba, hindi kayo naman nag-iiba-iba talaga ng brows eh. Alam mo yon hindi ka lagi nag-iiba ng brow color. So why do you have to have alam mo yun, parang expensive na iba-ibang brow products. I think when you find the one that works for you, alam mo yun, parang tas okay naman yung brows mo, contento ka naman. Okay na ako doon. And what I like to partner with this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. Kasi I like my brows, as you can see, to yung hairs, defined siya. Hindi yung solid yung color na parang ginuhit mo ng pen and pen. Kasi hindi ganun, again, when you are wearing makeup, you want to look enhanced and not fake. Alam mo yun. So, yung brows mo, gusto mo, nakita pa rin yung individual hairs niya. Like so. Hindi yung as in ginuhit na solid yung color niya. Because walang brows. Na ganun yung kulay. Alright? So, yung combination itong dalawa. I like this because, yung aside sa nade-define niya individual hairs ng brows mo, it sets them in place na kapag kunyara medyo mahaba na yung strands ng hair ng brows mo, hindi siya yung nakabagsak na mukha may naka lawit na kung ano-ano dyan sa brows mo. So, it looks more put together when you use this. Alright? So, sa so sobrang gamit ko sa kanya, nabura na yung pangalan niya. That's how committed I am to this combination. Okay? This combination is very powerful. Alright. So, after yung brows, of course, we have to do our eyes. And, my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time has to be my Tartis Pro I like this because una una part makeup kahit anong part is talaga really high quality and parang bonus na sobrang cruelty free siya. But yung specifically yung eyeshadows dito sa palette na to, they're so creamy, blendable, buttery, effortless siya i-blend. As in, konting ganun, ta, blended na siya. It's Parang super nag-effort ka na. And what I like about it even more, especially for beginners, naka-arrange siya in such a way na yung combination na gagamitin mo, no-brainer na. Alam mo na na, okay, I can use this, I can use this, ayan, by Rosha. And other than that, pwede mo din siyang gamitin yung iba-ibang rose in combination. That's what I like to do. Kapag, alam mo yun, pag minsan you want to be experimental kasi this is the obvious choice. So sometimes I switch them all together. And ang gaganda ng shimmer shades niya. Super pigmented niya. One swipe and you get a very metallic finish. So, kumbaga, you, you can have one palette in your life and use it forever. This would be the one. Kasi ang dami mong pwede gawin looks. And meron siyang dark shades, meron siyang light shades, meron siyang, alam mo yun, base colors, crease shades, and I like that there is more matte than shimmers. Kasi, to be honest, sa buhay naman natin, mas kinagamit natin yung matte eyeshadows kaysa sa shimmers. So, I like that there are a lot of matte eyeshadows in this palette. And the mirror is very good. Super clear niya. Alam mo na, ginasusan talaga siya. The packaging is very luxurious, black and gold, very sleek. So, wala akong anything negative to say about this palette. And it's so relatively affordable kaysa yung mga VCR na ang pangat ng packaging, pero super ka-duper mahal, as in double the price of this palette. Pero mas maganda pa rin to for me. Alright, so, after natin mag-eyeshadow, wala ako, by the way, I don't have a favorite red or dye eyeliner. Kasi feeling ko, wala pa ako nakikita ang eyeliner na talagang hardcore yung commitment ko. Kasi, yung color pop, okay siya, maganda siya, pero it's not long-lasting sa waterline. Yung um, mixed regionally, for me, parang ang stiff niya, ang hirap niyang ikulay. Siguro, maybe it's long-lasting, pero super hirap niya ikulay. As in, effort siyang ikuskus dun sa waterline mo. And ang, kapag alam mo gusto mong smudge out, yung liner, ang hirap niyang smudge out as in naghihiwalay siya at breaks apart. So, wala pa talaga akong nakikita na eyeliner na I think yung very, very best na wala ka maipintas. Alright. So, after that, magmamascara naman tayo. And my favorite mascara of all time, I think, is the Tarte's Lash Paint Mascara by Tarte. Again, type na naman, di ba? Um, this mascara is very volumizing but it's not 
it volumizes but not in a clumpy way. Parang dinidefine niya individual lash hairs. Tapos parang for some reason, feeling ko, pag ginagamit ko siya, parang nadadagdagan yung eyelashes ko. Ewan ko kung ano, ako lang yun. Let me know if you feel the same way. But, amazing yung volume na nabibigay nito sa eyelashes. So, this is so good. I just wish na merong version nito na waterproof. So, meron kang option. Lalo na sa bansa natin na medyo mainit. May option ka to buy the waterproof one. Alright, so after mascara, let's go to face products naman. My favorite, wala akong duda dito kasi ito lang yung kaisa-isa kong bronzer slash contour powder na nag-hit pa na ko. And this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Again, this just proves that there are a lot of affordable brands out there na yung quality niya even more amazing than yung high-end brands. So what I like about the butter bronzer, of course, syempre, yung smell niya is famous for its tropical scent, but I like the undertone of this um, specific uh, shade. Ito yung bronzer na shade. Meron light bronzer, pero I think it's too light na. Itong bronzer na shade nila, hindi nga to bron bronzer siya, but I mean, hindi siya super dark. Kumbaga, kumilight dito, para yung sa super puti na talaga. Kasi this one is so light. This is the bronzer that I use today. It's a neutral bronzer lang to the point na you can use it as contour. I use it as contour and it's one of my favorite contour products. But as a bronzer, it gives your skin the most natural finish. Again, my favorite kinds of makeup, yung, alam mo yun, it enhances the way you look but it does not alter the way you look. So it's still so natural. Hindi siya too matte na mukha siyang alkabok sa mukha mo but parang demi matte finish siya. Basta, kumbaga, close to the texture of your skin. Yung texture niya. That's what I like about it. It's so easy to blend. It goes with any kind of look. So, if I had one bronzer to be left in my collection, this would be it. Alright. So, next is my favorite blush. I have to say that I have to give it to Hourglass Mood Exposure. I like all of their blushes. It gives your skin the most natural glow na super attractive and you look so fresh when you use it. It's my favorite not only on myself but when I use it on my friends, on my family. I like the way it looks kasi it gives the most natural glow from within look just by applying blush on. Alam mo yon. So, ganun siya kaganda. Of course, syempre yung price tag ng Hourglass medyo up there. But I think the quality talagang binibigay nila yung value ng pera mo. Kasi super, it does not compare to other blushes at all. Medyo wala kong, hindi siya yung pinag-isipan ko na mabuti. I just know na ito na yung pinakamaganda sa lahat ng blushes in my collection. And I like this color. This is the color I'm wearing today. Just a little bit. Kasi, it's a natural mauve pink. Mukha siyang dark sa pan, pero sa totoong buhay, medyo, alam mo yung natural, naturally flush lang yung skin mo, na medyo mauve color. That's, that, that's my kind of blush. So, next is highlight, syempre, of course. And my favorite glow would have to be, ito yung medyo nahihirapan ako, kasi ang daming magandang highlighters out there in the market. And even in my collection, what, highlighters are one of those things na talagang you just can't get enough, alam mo yun. But my favorite glow, I would have to say, is the Anastasia Glow Kit in that glow. This has four different highlight shades. And what I like about it is, super glowy ng skin mo, but it does not accentuate yung texture. Kung may bumps ka, kung meron kang dry patches, it does not accentuate that. Again, it gives you just that healthy glow. Hindi yung, alam mo yun, parang, meron kasi mag glittery na highlights, and I don't like those kinds of highlights. I want yung glow, I want that freshness. That's what I'm looking for when it comes to highlight. And this gives me exactly that. And, for shades sa siya, and malalaki yung pants niya. So, that's a bonus. Kasi feeling ko, ang tagal-tagal mo na siya magagamit. My favorite to use are these two bottom shades, the bubbly and dripping in gold shades. And, ang gusto ko sa kanya is that you don't look greasy at all. You just look healthy. 
And syempre, again, we're going for that, alam mo yun, parang naturally, natural but enhanced, hindi yung artificial look. And this gives that kind of healthy, happy glow, parang yun. Oh, you're right. So, I guess we're down to the final, hindi naman final, final two products that we're going to talk about. And that is lip products. Ito yung medyo mahirap. Oh my God. And dam, lalo na sa pagdating sa liquid lipstick category. I have a lot of liquid lipstick, guys. So, it was very hard for me. Kaya unahin na natin yung lipstick kasi medyo madali. My favorite um, lipstick is the Colourpop Matte X Lipsticks. And in particular, my favorite shade is the Chateau One. So, this is a very vampy shade. Perfect for fall. And what I like about the Colourpop Matte X for me is it's, it's so matte. As in, it's so matte, but it's incredibly comfortable. I don't know how they did that. And it's so affordable. So, it really baffles me. But... Ito, actually, what I'm wearing is in the shade Kami. It's also one of their matte X formulas. And it's so matte. But, alam mo yun, lipstick siya, but it does not transfer. See? It does not transfer. Pero matte siya. But it's a lipstick. So, medyo lang ako confused ako. And it glides on effortlessly. The pigment is amazing. As in, super solid ng pigment niya. Kaya, wala akong masabi. Yeah, sige, I'll show you. Ayan mo, ayan no, super solid nung pigment niya. It's so unbelievably good for its price. It's so cheap, but it's the best lipstick that I've tried. And I like matte lipsticks by the way. Kasi feeling ko lang, personally on me, hindi bagay sa akin yung mga creams and yung mga glosses. And ayoko, irritable ako yung sa mukha. Ayoko nung may gumagalaw. I mean, nadidisplace pag pinabisang kapag kumain ka yung kumakalat. I don't like that. So, ayoko na iirit ang feeling. Kaya, I like, I love the Colourpop Matte X formulas. Last but finally not the least, is favorite liquid lipstick of all time. Again, sabi ko nga kanina, I had a very hard time choosing one. Actually, I medyo may cheat ako ng konti. Kasi, iba yung favorite formula ko sa favorite color ko. Alam mo yun? Kasi yung favorite formula ko, wala siya ng exact, exact color nung favorite color ko. So, unahin ko na yung favorite kong formula. Of course, if you might have guessed, my favorite liquid lipstick formula is the Makeup Monster Liquid Lipsticks. Kaya ko siya gusto, as I've spoken about it in my previous favorites video, it's so matte, but it's not dry. And, it's incredible na something like this, something like this is parang Ang ganda ng lips mo tingnan. Hindi niya na-define yung fine lines ng lips mo. And at the same time, ay may parang, it looks like velvet. And lagi, it does not fail me na, kunyari, I use this liquid lipstick. Not this in particular, any of the colors. I always get complimented in, on my lipstick. Pag ginagamit ko tong formula na to, always, parang hindi lilipas yung isang araw nang wala nagko-complement sa, sa ginagamit ko na lipstick. So, I know na maganda talaga siya. Kasi personally, alam mo, importante naman na ikaw yung pinaka nagagandahan doon sa ginagamit mo. But, it's so incredible na hindi lang ako yung nakakita na maganda siya. And, it really parang, na nakakonfuse ako kung bakit wala masyadong gumagamit yung brand na to. Kasi, it's an indie brand. Hindi siya yung out there with the Kat Von D, Anastasia, Jeffree Star. But, the formula is really the best. I've tried Jeffree Star, yun niya, Anastasia, Kat Von D. Girlactic is so good even. Pero I think it's a close second. But, ito talaga yung the best, without a doubt, in my mind. But, again, your favorite color ko would have to be the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Soft Spoken. This is my fav my personal favorite. And I say that because I personally think that, that this looks the best on me. When I want a natural look, it's a combination of natural peach, pink, and brown. It's a perfect combination of the three. And it looks so natural. This is my Bea Alonzo shade, if you know what I mean. I mean, fresh, girly, natural, effortless look. And this particular shade, this is my favorite kind of yung mga shades. Yung mga may brown undertone. Pink brown, peach brown. That's my kind of, ano, mauve brown. Ganon yung mga kinds of liquid 
lipstick or not liquid lipstick, but lipstick in general. But this particular one, pag tinabi mo siya sa iba kong liquid lipstick, ang dami na kamukha. But this particular one looks the best on me. And I know that I can rely on this. When, kapag meron akong importanteng pupuntahan, or even I just want to, alam mo yun, gusto mo lang mag-feel good, you'd have, you had a bad day, nagising ka ng hindi maganda, alam mo yun, and you want to look fresh and good, and you want to look friendly, this is what I use. Kasi, let's face it, alam mo naman, medyo hindi nice-nice yung tipo ng itsura ko, but when I use this, feeling ko, <laughs> I'm so, alam mo yun, na girly and feminine and friendly. Ganun yung feeling ko, alam mo yun. And so, that's why I like this particular shape. Okay, so that's it guys for my ride or die tag. My all-time favorite makeup. I hope you try these products. I stand by them 100%. I know, I'm sure that it will give you good results. Kasi I know for myself na subo ko na itong mga to. This, these are my, alam mo yun, Ito talaga yung mga ano ko eh. Alam mo yun, this, these are my girls, my besties. When meron akong importante, lakad may okasyon, I go to these products para sure ako that it will give me, I'm sure of the results that I'm getting. Alam mo yun, before ko pa siya ilagay, I, I know that this will look good. So, I hope you try them and if you're gonna invest in some products, especially kung medyo high-end, then go for these. Hindi ka mabibigo, promise, I swear. Alright, so with that, that's it for this video. I hope nakatulong sa itong video na to. And if it did, please like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on my next one. Happy New Year! Bye!